my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row People, people, people The reason I threw this clip in here was to show you why we crossed the road We're fixing to get stopped for walking on the wrong side of the road It's hard to believe that we have walking laws in the United States of America. As you can see, we were walking on the left side of the road against traffic, and up ahead you can see how the weeds are growing up all the way to the road, all, all, all the way to the white line almost. And if you look to your right on the other side of the road, the public easement is wide open, so we could get further off the road and be safe. But you'll see... This cop's ego is bigger than any I've ever seen. This is another long one. I hope y'all stick around because this is a prime example of cop ego. And yes, the statute does say you have to walk on against traffic in South Carolina if there's not a sidewalk provided. But you tell me, which side of the road is safer Do you? Now look at that truck coming down through there. You think it's safe to walk down through there? I don't. Sir, come talk to me. Sir, I'm not going to ask you again. What? For what? Right now, you, right now you're, you're properly walking on the roadway. So you could either talk to me now or we can go ahead and go on down to California Avenue. Wow, I'm impressed. It only took him 16 seconds to threaten me with arrest for the first time. We can talk then. Okay. Can you repeat that sentence? So right now, the direction that you're walking on the roadway was in front in South Carolina. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm going to need your ID so that I can issue citations for that. What citation? If you don't for mean. walking on the wrong side of the road. That's when walking in South Carolina, if no, if there's no sidewalk provided, you have to walk to the left. To the far left side of the road, absolutely. And we cross. South Carolina, Carolina Road. South Carolina, there's an easement, 32 and a half feet. From Again, the with no line. where there's no sidewalk provided, you must walk. From the line. When there's Do no you have sidewalk. A on duty? I'm the sergeant. Do you, Do you have I'm a not lieutenant? Gonna, is what I asked. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not refusing. No, I don't ID. have a lieutenant I, on duty. Do you duty. have a captain? He's not on duty. So you have no uh, Sir, you see how them weeds was all growing up down through there? We were on that side. Then we hit them weeds. To walk on that side. That's when what you're I'm walking saying. this way. Listen, we were on that side. And then there's a bunch of grass growed up okay. right to the road. Well, let's, let's get over here. Then we, the roadway, then we crossed. Detained? Let's get over here out of the roadway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At this point in time, you are. For what crime again? Walking on the wrong side of the road? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Man, he's jamming in there, bud. I'm going to go live. And it was at this point I realized I don't want a copyright strike. This garage right here is playing copyright music. I have to try to drown it out as best I can. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you aren't going to like it, but it is what it is. Okay. So at this point in time, I need your ID, please. I don't have it on me. Well, I need your information. Either that or we can go ahead and go on down and uh, go down to the jail. Threaten with arrest for the second time. It is an arrestable offense. All uh right. -huh. So uh, whatever y'all would like to do. How would y'all like to How would y'all like to proceed? I never said I was denied. Okay, well then I need your ID, please, sir. You said you were going to write it down. I'll see you in a picture. I need your ID, sir. I, and here's the thing. Uh, and, and I understand what no, you're doing. No, you don't. Because because you do, you stop. Be about I understand what you're doing. Obviously and I understand not. all this. Obviously okay? I don't what are we doing? What, what are we do. doing? The problem is, is that here, you are walking on the wrong side of the road. Okay? I'm going to take care of that and we're going to be done. We are far, far, far from done. Yeah. Okay. Is that we can need to I need your ID. Is that, that's an ID. No, it's not, sir. That's an inmate ID. You're not. 
You're not an inmate with the Department of Corrections. So that's not a valid I can't ID. use this one? No, sir. You sure? I'm sure. I need a valid ID. You have your ID on you, sir? You don't have any ID on you. None at all. It's not ragged, it's about it. Nah, I don't need that. <laughs> we don't need none of that. Is that sufficient Thank you, for sir. You? That is it. Okay. Thanks, I'll be right back. Well, you don't want other? You don't want ours? Well, you said you didn't have it. Well, I don't. I don't have it you on me. You didn't get out a pen and paper and write it down. Well, I don't want to write it all on the pen, but I'm getting Your last name, sir? D. Yeah. O. Oh. Oh, uh huh. R. Your first name? You mean to spell that one? Yeah, that's my grandpa's name. Your middle name? Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Just confirm. What's the date of birth? Nine. Your address? Evening. Well, you, why do you need my address? Again, you either going to comply with this right here. I thought I'd I could do my citation, or I could take you to jail and get this information. Threat number three. Which one do you want to do? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm talking to him right now. I don't need you interfering. I thought all you had to give was your name and birthday. Well, sir, again, I can go ahead and take you to jail, and we'll get all this. Number four. I'm asking you a question. I was asked, that's why I was asking for your address, sir. Seven zero two. Your name, sir. Your name, badge number, sir. Yeah, I do. Is that not your policy to identify to the public? That's one of your general orders. Can I get your name and badge number? What's your address, sir? Badge is 78. Thank you. Now, was that so hard? Why do you have an attitude? You're the one being talked to. I'm just here to as backup. You're on the scene. So? I'm here as backup. So it don't matter. You're here. I'm going to come. Can we have a conversation? All right. Have you ever heard of this thing as public? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm just asking, have you ever heard of public evening? Yes. Okay, so if there's no sidewalk and someone's walking on the side of the road on a public evening, how is that violating the law? Because of South Carolina with no... I wasn't talking to you, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you I the law. I wasn't talking to you, sir. I just, That's I'm what just you just told me. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Without a, without a sidewalk provided, you. you are to walk to the left-hand side facing traffic. And I just oh, told you... We were on that side, Not and then come up, you were on this side right here. Yeah, but you wouldn't give me a chance. If you go drive down there, the weeds are all the way out to the edge of the road. Enough. So we crossed. So, you so we had a place to walk into the weeds here. No, okay. down the road, right man. Here. It is very clear. Right down here, you were standing. You were walking in these weeds. So if those weeds were dangerous, right. okay. Over to these Just write your tickets and let's go. Well, first of all, on the left hand side of the road. So we were stopped here on uh, you're on Keltner Avenue at Southport Road. Keltner Avenue is on Port Road for walking on the side okay. of the road and there's no sidewalk being provided. Okay. Go ride them. We don't provide to his general orders. And, wait, wait. Uh, I'm not in charge of that. Right? I'm not in charge of that part. Like, yeah, it's a little hard to be, uh, well, again, I don't provide them, but we do have a state law pertaining to how you are to walk on the road when they were to walk the road. So, I mean, if someone gets What's your own thing for a I don't hang tight, I hang loose. How loose? Back in the morning, there's open spots. Possibly get hit by a car. We already hit close place. Again, I'm here for backup. I, I, I'm just asking you. I mean, if we started off there.
Relevant to Bravo me. Ford. Thank I you. mean, badge numbers and shield numbers, all that stuff is like in the movie. North, New York City, they go by shield numbers because they put, print the numbers on their badges. We don't do that. We okay. just go by our numbers. Okay. That's cool. That's why I say it. Most of that hey, just. Have you ever been to any cities in the state and they had badge numbers? <coughs> yeah. We don't go oh, okay. By. I thought so. We don't go by. Uh. I was just wondering. I mean, the Criminal Justice Academy issues you one, so you certainly should use it. Criminal Justice Academy does not issue a badge. Okay. Okay. Maybe not when you went to the academy. They don't. They and you need to go back for more training. They don't issue badges. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm the citizen. I'm correct. I'm incorrect. I'm sorry. I can't make a big deal of it. I'm just telling you. Okay. You guys hear that shit? Badge numbers are in the movies. No, again, what I said, most of that's in the movies. New York City. Verbatim, you said that's I in the movies. Most it's all right. Movies. I'm not going to argue with you. They heard it. I heard it. He New heard York it. City, I told you New York City got some on there. It's okay, sir. Can we carry Can we move this along? Well, I'm trying to, but you keep asking me questions. Which is, you can't multitask? You're an officer. You should be able to multitask. No, I'm. if I see somebody, I'm going to deal with them. Oh, okay. So, I mean... Questions, I, uh, I think that's lack of just, training. 
Come on, I got places to go and people to see. Can you believe they got walking laws in America? You can't walk in America. What? Oh yeah, it is quite. And this three striper can't give us a, a, a warning. Well, no, I was more than willing to do that until y'all raised it to the next level of that. How did we raise it? Oh, the one got so out of the car, almost put so, on so this is a retaliatory ticket, right? <laughs> you just said it. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Now we've went from getting arrested for walking to getting a citation for walking to a warning for walking. Wait till you hear his reasoning on that one. Stick around, folks. The insanity is just beginning. Y'all raised it to the level that I had to go to this. Oh. Oh, okay. Because so was, your, your, your level of professionalism trying, didn't allow you to, to maintain handle, a cool demeanor. I was trying to handle this, and y'all didn't want to do that. You, tr you tried to handle it? You didn't even give me a chance to explain You're why we crossed the road man. down there. I, I, again, y'all were walking right there in the weeds that you said was I wasn't in the weeds. I was on the leaves right here. <laughs> if you go down there, they go all the way out to the, the street, manner, and you can't there. walk through them. Just write the ticket, man. Come on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So he just admitted on camera this is retaliatory. Any pedestrian along and upon a highway shall walk only on his shoulder as far as practical from the edge of the roadway. Do not quote law to me if you don't know what you're talking about. I got no problem with you, but you're supposed to identify. That's what got me. I'm still trying to find out what my target was. My, my priority. I understand what you're saying, but when I get called, all I got told was that. Yeah, I heard it. So I'm worried. I'm worried about everybody's well-being first. Being polite, and giving information at that point. That's beyond. Well, no, I'm about. I'm no, if you're asked, you're supposed to identify. I understand that, but his well-being and your well-being, my, my name and my badge number went behind that. I wanted to make sure everybody was okay first. Okay. Identifying is why you're I understand that. No, no, so what, that's a yes or no. What I'm saying is that I was caring about everybody's We're well-being We're not being evasive here. I'm not going to sit here and debate stuff. I'm just telling you what I was. The answer is yes, you identify. So it shouldn't matter. Your name, badge number, sir? If he calls you for backup or not, if someone asks you to identify, it's simple. My name is. First priority is to make sure everybody's okay. I mean, the same standing there talking to me was standing there talking, so I said, I'm going to tell you different levels of stuff, all right. I, I've been standing here cops playing at its best. Yeah. So, I mean, his, his level of fear is so our level.
I've been talking to Jason this entire time. We're talking about our military service. And yeah, everything. I know. Well, I appreciate your service. I appreciate you. Like I said, I'm good. You know what the plain view doctrine is, right? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to cut it off if you don't want to record it. Anything I can see, I can record. Plain view doctrine goes both ways. What gets me is, you know. What branch were you in? Three striper. Thank you for your service. I was in the Army as well. Transportation, 88 Mike. I was both 11 Bravo and 12 November. Everybody here from Linderwood. Oh, I hated Linderwood. What All gets me is uh, Mr. Three Stripe over here admitting that this was a retaliatory ticket. Right. Oh, he said because we always spoke of it. He decided to give us a Well, I hate calling them sergeants and whatnot because they're not in the military anymore. I mean, they got to steal rank from the military. And then, not too long ago, they stole our flag. How long did you serve? Four shot, ten years. Active duty or National Guard? Guard and active. Where were you stationed on active? Uh, Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson? So you got to stay close to home. <laughs> you hated it? Why'd you hate that? No, it's not Okay. Oh yeah, they've got nothing better to do. They walk through the PX just trying to... Well, that's where the drill sergeant training school is. So, we got pulled over for walking on the wrong side of the road. Let me ask you folks something. Should it matter in the United States of America what side of the road you walk on? Driver. Bravo 2. This is awesome. Oh, you heard it? Bravo 2. So that's what he told me what it was. Oh, he did? After we had a debate about it. Oh, because he said he had no bad number? Yeah. That's only in uh, the movies.
I know. That's like the military actually getting out. What's up, pay. accountability for all? <laughs> We're out here in Spartanburg, that's the one up on the just like in the military. So, uh, the Deuce Sergeant Major of the Army comes in. That's how we ended up with the Black Berets for everybody. Because he wanted to have the Black Beret. They took it from the Rangers. Hey, man. I need to break out some wax on that thing. Compound. <laughs> that old hood faded. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of cars to shoot from down there. Just sitting out there. Uh, Lord Chester County News, what's going on, man? I don't know, I don't know. Is there that South Carolina? Somebody said that was South Carolina. Yeah. South Carolina, Code of Law, Title 56, Motor Vehicle Building, uh, yeah. Pedestrian and Highway. Yeah. It's, uh, Section 56-5-31-6. have to read the whole thing. So we'll have to look the whole thing up and see. A radical reactor, absolutely. Radical reactors in there? Yep. What up? ASA's in there. What's going on, everybody? ASA, how come you didn't... Highlight my video I sent. Wondering. I told no name to tell you too. Accountability for all, I definitely will. We've asked them to tell us what statute it was or you know the code and what you were uh, breaking, but he says that's not his job to do. So he's just enforcing the law that he knows is fair. So um, once we get the citation, then I guess we'll just go from there. But for now, you know, this is what's going on. For those of you that don't know, we got six out of six out of All right. At least we're jamming over here. All this is going on. But I told no name about it too. I told him to tell you to call me or email me. No name's got my number. Lord Chester, I know there has to be a statue and we're asking him which one it is, but he refuses to provide it for us. Uh, as he says, he's just enforcing the law. He's not gonna educate us on the law. That's where we're at. Here he comes, let's see what's going on. Okay. You probably know the reason why I'm out here. Because y'all walking around. So you're recording in public? I know, I'll explain it out. Yeah. Of course, walking around some of these businesses, tell me them, they don't know who you are. They don't know what's going on. Okay? They're worried about somebody trying to do something to their business. So they're going to call us and we're going to find out what's going on. We're going to respond, correct? I mean, that's what our job is, right? Is, is to check out what somebody calls in and fix that kitchen, correct? Okay? Y'all aren't doing anything unlawful besides the way you were walking. Now again, 
All I ask, I was gonna have you come over here, what's going on? I see what's going on. We go about our business. However y'all wanted to just, I don't know, be uncooperative with it again, saying that you're exercising your, your right. Well, at the point that you're breaking the law, you don't have that right to not identify yourself. Correct? Would you would you agree with that? At that point? My question is yes, did I say a word at all? No, well, when I asked you for your ID, you said you didn't have it. Which I don't have it. And, and you don't? I got your information. I've cooperated that information. And we're good. That's what I'm saying. I, I, didn't, I didn't say a word. No, no. Again, <laughs> you've been most cooperative of all. And, and again, that's all we have. <laughs> you know? We're out here doing a tough job. We, mm. You know, people. Who are we? Well, you, you're out here instigating things for no reason. That's good for your opinion. My opinion, absolutely. For no reason. Sergeant, are you on duty? For no reason, absolutely. Okay, well stop giving me your opinion and give me the law. Well, can I have I my just gave you the law. So I can go? I just gave you, you just the gave law me your work. opinion also, and I don't need I'm that. just you're on duty. Just opinions don't matter right now. Okay. Can I get my We got a hard job so and y'all are making it. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay. So what I've done here and the reason I have done this is because of you. You were, you have done everything I've asked. You have been, you have been cooperative in me just doing my job. I just feel like I need to punish you for these two. So I've done uh, warning tickets on you. Where again, it could have been anywhere from a warning ticket to a citation to incarceration for that, for that offense. But again, I just feel I need to punish you because again, you have not been, you have been confrontational. I've asked you the question, you have given me the Am message. I still detained, so Sergeant? Done. Okay, fair enough. So I appreciate your cooperation. That is all. I'm no longer detained. I said that is all. Have a great evening. Okay. Make sure you walk on the proper side of the road. Believe it or not, folks, it's still not over. never been so pissed off about getting a warning before. Come on, fellas, let's go.
Mm. I think we got warnings because he ran us and we didn't have any warnings. How does that sound? Does that sound more like plus, it to you? Plus, he admitted on camera it was more or less a retaliatory thing. Right, so. right. Okay, I got to tell him to come on. Yeah, so they'll leave. So we can leave. Oh, how wrong I was about that one. It's 56-5-3160. Uh-huh. Here's the thing. Okay, and again. I understand what you're doing. Hold on, guys. I got a broadcast. Yeah, broadcast. Okay. I understand what you're doing. What's that? What you're doing is filming people. You're trying to elicit a response. No. You're, you're a 100% you're wrong. Well, it has to be because... You're 100% wrong. Well, then why would you give We don't support? want a conflict. Then why, give me a, then why would you give me flag when you knew what my response was? No, I mean, you're... I mean, I'm, I'm done with you, man. There again, you don't want to answer that question. No, because I'm done with you. Wanting to elicit that response. Is our business done? No, the people this, who were hold on, they were. Spoke. Yeah. I didn't call 911. So right. how would I possibly know that you're coming? Right? No, you don't. Okay. So I have no reasonable expectation to know that you're going to make contact with me because I didn't call 911. No, you don't. So therefore, when you approach us, of course, I'm going to say, well, what the heck do you want? Because you haven't broken the law. Well, actually, mind, you did, but, but you didn't know. Did. You didn't so know. That's if right. I didn't know. Right. I didn't know. Correct. And so at that point, I'm saying, yeah, I ain't talking to you because I ain't done nothing wrong. But, but there and, again, and according to the Supreme Court, I don't have to talk to you and, if I don't want to. And I will give you that. Correct. If you had not been breaking the law. I get that. But there but again, you, you assumed that I didn't know what I was doing. Right. And you assume that I, I was just I getting still, out of her rest. I still say the same thing. I'm not going to change my mind at all. And, and until I, I get home and research it myself, I'm going to say something like that. And then if I'm it. wrong, you could gladly look at the video and I'll say I was more than wrong because I'm man enough to say it. Uh, you know what? And if I'm wrong, I'm man enough to say it too. But in this, again, I've written that. I can't tell you how many times. You're gravy. Are, are, we, are we done? I'm done. I thought just, we were done. I am. I asked who was driving the car and y'all stood here talking with me. I'm not detaining you at all. Y'all were freely talking to me. No, you walked no, you, over, you here. over here. Yeah, I asked who was I asked who was driving the car, and you said you didn't know. Yeah, I don't answer questions like that. So, I didn't. Did I say you were detained or anything? I mean, maybe it's an Uber. Maybe another person driving. I don't know. So you made an assumption. I just. He said that y'all were taking him home. That he that y'all were ready to go, and I just assumed that one of y'all two were driving. I don't know. Is that an assumption on my part? Yeah. Well then. Except for why I call it back. I mean, you ran my, my ID, so you obviously Correct. know my license not valid. Well, I'm not putting your business out there. That's fine with me. It's not I, I, I did say, you said that I didn't. I have no shame at all. He's the only one who produced, I'm sorry, you're the only one to produce a uh, South Carolina driver's license. ID. <laughs> I've lost my too many times. I don't carry my stuff with me. <laughs> Yo, like, I'm really, like, I'm telling you, like, this is the funniest thing I've ever experienced. All right. Not detaining you in any way, shape, or form. You're freely standing and talking to me. No, you approached us again after we thought our I business question, was done. I asked a question, you answered it. I have not told you you're under. I didn't answer. I didn't answer. I? I didn't answer you. Did, did I say you were detained or anything? You never said we were detained the first time. I had to ask. Oh, he detained me. Yeah. 
Oh, I think they're gonna put hands on you because you're a walker. But I mean, y'all are the one voluntarily standing here. I mean, so are you. You're the one yep. wasting our tax dollars right I'm now. I'm not wasting nothing. You gave us our summons, correct? Or our warning? I'm sorry. I gave you a warning. You gave us our warning? Yes. So I, I think you'd be clear to I'm go sure. back to work by now. I am at work. And you're not doing anything productive right now. Why don't now. you go 10-8? Okay. Go 10-8. Back in service. Hmm? Y'all know what that is? Did you, you end the call yet? No. Salary, so I mean, obviously, I can stand you. You live in Greenwood. You don't play. Uh, I don't live in Greenwood. Spartan, uh, Greenwood. I'm sorry. You don't play South Carolina. Uh, Spartan, Texas. <laughs> so, but there again, if you want to look at it that way, I actually pay my own salary too because I got to pay taxes. Good. Just got my with our taxes. <laughs> I know. So I, what are you talking about? How messed about? up is that? I got to pay my own up. salary. Right. How messed up is that? And you're doing a bad job at it. To give yourself more vacation time. I got plenty. There's not enough people to <laughs> like take a time unpaid off. suspension vacation. <laughs> Never been suspended a day in 30 years. Not a day. Oh, you're the one making this longer than it has to be. You I'm not doing like, anything. I'm just standing here right. patrolling the area. Yep. Time to go around license plate, huh? <laughs> I'm behind you, just so you know. I can walk this way here because I'm on the property and not on the road. This guy's a damn freaking joke. Oh. It's uh, public information, so they can run license plates as much as they want to. What's that? Do you have your driver's license in your vehicle with you? I don't answer Simple questions. Question. Simple question. Because I don't, you did not have it to provide to it, me. He said time. he doesn't answer I don't answer so questions. Don't I don't answer questions. That's all I ask. You're free to go. So are you. Yeah. <laughs> Been free to go. But you choose to stand here and go back and forth. I choose to stand here like I can. Glad to see you waste tax dollars like this. No, you are. I'm wasting tax dollars? Absolutely. How's that? Please, I like to hear this. How? I don't answer your question. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll stand here all night. Yeah. I got till 1900. After that, I will, I will concede and go home tonight. Okay. Guess we got an hour and uh, 18 minutes. <laughs> Bro, Heather, I mean, it's absolute retaliation. I mean, it is blatant retaliation. And he ain't even afraid to hide it. See this deputy right here? He's been cool. This one, not so much. He did give us a warning though. That's pretty cool. But why he's still here is beyond me. I'm in the area in which I patrol. He closed this the door. Here. Hmm? He closed it. Huh? I don't know. Every time I have this guy. Ah. 
<sighs> so can you tell me what the original call was that you were responding to? I explained that back there when I when I told you everything. I, I explained that. They responded to three men walking, taking uh, pictures, not breaking the law. Oh, he was responding to a law-abiding citizen? Oh, okay. Exercising constitutionally protected rights? Oh, okay. But then, when he turns down the street, he goes, All right, I got him. Again, so he issued us warnings after getting our ID under the threat of arrest. Right. Just so he could run our ID so he could see if we had Right. One. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I think that'd be a violation of someone's Fourth Amendment, right? I explained all that to you. And you have it recorded. I absolutely do. It's a live stream right now. What's that bulge in your pocket? Is that anything illegal? Have you been drinking tonight? Have you eaten more than four loaves of white bread in the last hour to fill a breathalyzer? Are you taking any medication that would cause you to shake the way you are? Are you cold? You want me to drop the cigarette so bad so you can write me a ticket for litter, don't you? Brickland, man, you've been awesome, dude. Like, please talk to your sergeant. Just tell him to go about his business. He's like, this is funny. Like, I literally have, like, all night I got nothing better to do than to record the government yeah. officials in the court. <coughs> is this what he wants to spend his last hour and a half on duty tonight? Yeah, so then he doesn't have to so do anything it. else. This is what he chooses yeah, to do it. when there's probably, I mean, Spartanburg is the murder capital of South Carolina, and this is what he chooses to do. <laughs> hey, Brooklyn, question. After you graduate from the caddy, are there any physical fitness standards that you have to uphold? No, like, as far as department-wise, you don't have any... That makes a lot of sense then. You mind if I search your car? Do you have anything that'll stick or poke me on you? Look, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Read that. This one. It, it. Jason, you got hurt? I didn't train. We were in the process. You gotta be a fraud, man. You crazy. Wow, this is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Yep. Oh, he's pulled his phone out like three or four times, but he's put it back up. Oh, look at that. Someone's beating down the road. Not but yet he's standing here with us after he says we're free to go and he's free to go, but yet he doesn't want to do his job. For someone threatening the lives of other people in a vehicle on a roadway. No, he actually didn't give us a uh, fine at all. He gave us a warning because he said uh, sticks was uh, very poor offensive. Yeah, I wonder if I'm, I'm able to cross the road to my car. Oh, yes. So, sir, how am I supposed to cross the road? 
Do I have to go to the intersection? Cross on an angle, parallel to the road, perpendicular. Is there a certain way in which I have to cross the road? Straight across? Okay. Once you cross onto that private property, you can walk straight you get to the property. So you want me to walk on private property is what you just said. Once you're on that property, you can walk but did you hear that? Yeah, he said I once heard you private cross on a private property. So, mm -hmm. so now I'm going to be charged with trespassing after notice. I'm surprised we hadn't already have. You haven't been given notice of trespassing. Oh, there's a sign posted, so there's notice given. On the side of the, yep, on the side of the building, right above the door. I'm not arrested for trespassing. I'm just telling you a safe way to get to your car. So you'd rather give me a citation for walking on the wrong side of the road than arrest me for trespassing? Well, you're not really a trespasser. Oh, okay. No, no, just checking. There's, there's, there's kind of a difference. There's gray areas, what you're saying. You're saying that you're standing here for what? Yeah, he's trying to set us up, and I'm not falling for it. Are you setting you up for nothing? Then why you. are you still here, man? Why don't you go 10-8 and go back to work? He's waiting for someone to get in the car so then he can make sure you have your driver's license on you. I know what he's doing. He's not smart. Is your body cam on? You knew exactly what I asked. Is your body cam on? Is your body cam on? I mean, I mean, it's not an answer. It's a yes or a no. Is it on? Yes? No? Maybe. Is your body cam on? Yeah. Someone's standing there getting complaints of wild feral pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. It's not like you can't find out whether I got a freaking valid driver's license. Oh, no. No. What he's saying is that you, you have, to have, you have to have it on you, is what he's trying to say. That's, that's state law. I didn't say it wasn't. I was just articulating what you said. Right. Thank you. Really, the sad part is, is, rather than saying, yes, I do have my driver's license and, and going wherever you're going to go, you would rather stand here. That's no, you would rather stand or here. you could just say, I mean, after you said... Again, you, you, you're, you're throwing that on me. I'm telling you, gosh, it's the easiest thing in the world to do, but instead of doing that, it is. you're just wanting to stand there. It's the easiest thing in the world I mean, for you to go back to work. You're standing here texting and... Bothering law abiding citizens rather than going about your business. Well, actually, you were violating the law. I law mean, you, you said, we'll find we're, that you said out. we were undetained, correct? So at this point, we're lawful citizens again. We'll right? find that out in court, won't we? In court? Mm hmm. I didn't give you a ticket. Oh, I gave you a warning. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Crap. Oh, man. How could you get it so wrong? Man. How could you get it so wrong? Man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the reason he stopped us today is for tyranny and a costume. Oh, wow. <sighs> this is getting, getting better and better. This has, like, been the month of, like, the road piggies. I'm gonna get me a cigarette. <laughs> so I walk over to the car, guys, get my smokes, put my hoodie on. I shall return. No, we actually ID'd, but He's refusing to go back to work because he wants us to leave first. I'm not refusing to go back to work. I'm in my area where I work. 
Are you available for a call? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, again, I'm available. Can I get a report number or incident number? It's call your, number? Your ticket. It is? Our, your warning. For the original call? For the... So he's not driving, but he wants his ID to prove that he has a physical ID on him before he's driving. That's what he's saying. I can tell you right now, that ain't going to happen. Can I get a picture with a smile? Come on. Smile for me. I did. I didn't see it. Mustache and beard, it kind of covered. Oh man, that's your angry face. No, I'm right there that old No, this is this, this is this is kind of high corner of the mouth. This is South Carolina, guys, not Florida. What are we doing now? Yep, it's uh, pretty much uh, focus on the building construction, demolitions. Build it up and then blow it. Yeah. Do you have your big building? Oh, really? There's another one in the left part. I'm going to go get the left part. Oh, another violation in what? Look at this! Oh, what'd you say? For what? Like glass? I, I need more light. The land might be kind of, kind of, uh, instead of walking on yeah, it, you just pull it across it. Yep. 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 Just drag it straight across, take a little, uh, But stuff like that, why did anybody have to get blown up by a mine? Because they started using wood, wood, like they went old school. What up, what up? I got TG's live stream now. Let's stay this evening. Uh, all of the officers are safe. They're burying them in dead animals, dead bodies, trash. Little silver spiky bottom. Dime, 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 no, I Cycle of the Messiah One. Kind of AFA, what's up, what's up? Heather Holt.
Chill it. <laughs> I'm really chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Accountability frog, go ahead and do it. Just keep frog in. What was that? So just keep frog in. <laughs> but we got the wind at our advantage here, so it'll be good. <laughs> I'm like, eh, a little bit of breeze. Right and make sure. All you just kind of point that we have reference on the station. He, he's not listening. I'm about deaf, but three feet away. What's that? Huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deaf at three feet. I can't hear. Wife just says I'm deaf to her. That's genetics. There you go. That's genetics. I know I'm not being sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I got the nine. Thank the Lord. How much longer do you think I could have 
want to see people wasting money. I can keep them all night. They got a call somewhere. They were asking for bathroom. But they don't start the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, like I was telling him, hell, if he was smart, he'd just go down the road and wait for me to pull out. Pull me over illegally. Oh, no seat belt. No uh -oh. headlights. Still no headlights. Still no headlights. Look at this. Alright guys. GG here. Sticks upstate and upstate SC News. Guys, if we get pulled over later or have any more interaction, I'll come back for you. Y'all have a good night. Upstate SE New. Accountability for all says he's still on the phone with dispatch. Slash for officer safety. Uh, we out. <laughs>